Hi, welcome to Five Power Threat Defense training video series. I'm Nanda. In this video, we are going to look at how to configure policy based routing using flex configuration. So, in this example, uh, I have this Five Power 2130 box which is running FTD 6.2.1. I have uh, three interfaces, one inside which is 172.16.10.1 and then two outside, outside 1 and outside 2 with 192.168.10.1 and uh, 192.168.11.x network. The idea of uh, doing a PBR here is um, if I have a uh, traffic coming from 172.16.10. network, uh, it should take the uh, outside one internet. And if uh, the traffic coming from 1.16.11.x network, it should take outside two network. Since the PBR is not natively supported in FIFO Management Center, uh, we are going to use flex config along with route map um, from the FMC to achieve this. So in order to achieve PBR, use case that I just said now, um, would require this set of configuration to be configured on the box. Since um, access list and uh, route map already supported uh, from uh, supported on the FMC, I'm going to use FMC to create access list as well as a route map um, using FMC, and then um, configure this set IP next stop as well as and then add the uh, route map to the in interface. Will be done using um, flex configuration so the one which i've highlighted as a bold text uh, are the one which i'm going to use the flex configuration to configure um, let's uh, do the configuration first i have to go to uh, policy on object and then uh, create extended iacl which uh, which is required uh, to be used on the route map the, the extended acl you can find it on the under access list uh, so here I've already have uh, two extended ACL that I've already created one is PBR HR and one is PBR iPhone IT you can see the values here um, just as our requirement um, actually list PBR iPhone HR uh, permit IP IP at the source IP is 116.10.0 to any similarly we have I've created a one more um, extended ACL with PBR iPhone IT as an uh, ACL name with source as 116.11.0. Uh, the next is to create a route map. Uh, again, a route map is, uh, is natively supported on Firepower Management Center. I can go to the route map and then create a new route map. I'll say my PBR and then add those <coughs> add those um, uh, route map here the, i'm going to create two route maps one with um, priority 10 and 20 so let's create for 10 and then um, action as permit which is here and then go to the ipv6 as a matching criteria select the access list set it as extended so the AC that we have configured has come up here. I'll select the PBR iPhone HR. So similarly, I'll create one more route map with 20 as a sequence number, matching criteria, extended ACL, select the IT. So with this, uh, we have we have configured uh, these parameters with um, Access list, we have created an uh, access list object manager. We have created an ACL with a route map. We have config, uh, configured uh, these two parameters uh, this one and uh, one which I've highlighted. So, next is to go to flex configuration and then um, configure the uh, configure the uh, flex, obj flex object. But before that, I would like to create a text object to. Um, configure the gateways here so let me create a two text object uh, 
I'll say my z gateway one for one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot five. Similarly, create one more object as my so what we just did is to create a two text object one is for um, this value and the other one is for the next gateway value um, now we can go to flex configuration object and then create a new object I'm going to call this as my PBR um, so as I said this as when I mean, this has been would be created by FMC and then this this particular CLI would be created by FMC all we have to do is add these two lines in order to add these two lines first I need to get it to this particular um, route map so I can say route map and then call the route map name using insert variable so you can see insert variable route map uh, object managers here I can call this and then define a name for this and then as in the PB uh, route map which we have created so route map space by route map name and then uh, permit and uh, sequence number as 10 you can have the sequence number also as a variable but in this case I'm just using it as a hard-coded string and then um, set IP followed by the variable that I have to call, call it here so let me call the variable here text variable I can see that gateway iPhone 1 get one and administrative distance and then Similarly, for the next um, call the again the text variable for gateway two. Administrative two distance two and then track. Similarly, we can uh, we have to call uh, do the same thing for the route map sequence twenty. So remember, when you are inserting the variable uh, for the first time, you have to insert with the string. But once you variable is called out um, once, then uh, subsequent you need not to insert again. You can just do a copy paste. Uh, I'm increasing sequence number, and then copy this true string and then just change okay so this particular part is over all we have to do is next um, go to interface and then apply apply it on the outside interface again when you're applying you can call the route uh, map name um, So um, with this, I think uh, we have good with uh, good at we have configured the flex configuration object. Um, we had configured all we have to do is um, go to the device and on the flex configuration add this and then deploy. So my PBR is here. I'm going to assign it and then save the configuration check for preview configuration so you could you can see that on the flex config app and uh, route map and then beneath the route map set commands have been inserted and then uh, on the interface policy route has been mapped on the fmc uh, generated cli you can see that acl has been created and then um, 
and then route map for 10 and 20 are being created so let's deploy this policy and then um, check on the device deployment is successful uh, let's um, check the transcript let's check the transcript and um, so we can see the objects have been created for ACL and then there is a ACL for uh, PBR and HR similarly and then it created a route map um, with uh, sequence number 10 and then it has uh, attached the uh, ACL to it similarly uh, it has created an ACL for PBR and IT and then associated that with route map sequence number 20 in the in the route map uh, we were able to using flex compute, we were able to uh, configure the set next IP up um, next hop um, with that tracking and then we have associated the uh, route map using policy map under the interface so let's go and verify on the device So we have created successful route map and then if you want you can verify the ACLs. And then check interface. So you can check the interface that it has added the route map uh, to the to the interface with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it uh, see you soon in the next video but please subscribe to this channel for more videos bye bye